Knock knock, welcome to Taurus season. Let's find out about your next glow up, you guys. Choose from pile one, pile two, one or two. All right, let's get started with pile number one. What is your next glow up, you guys? Let's see, what's your next glow up, pile one? Oh, first of all, you guys, if you felt that time was passing you by, that energy is going to be released from you. So you're going to feel like you're right on time. You're right exactly where you're supposed to be at this moment. Queen of Pentacles. It's an absolute glow up. Taurus energy, by the way. We also have Virgo and Capricorn with justice at the bottom. So Libra. All Venus energy. You guys are looking good. You're feeling good. A lot of attractive energy here. And you're also feeling good about yourselves. This is one uh, part that is changing here. I am feeling the shit right here around the heart chakra. You guys are switching, changing completely the way you look at yourselves. Like what you thought about is attractive about you is changing. What you thought is not attractive is changing. You guys are going through this shift and it's going to be a major one. And it's going to feel also that your energy around fertility, anything that needs your abundance, your fertility is changing. You're going to see a lot more of that. You're gaining a lot of confidence by one. We have the seven of cups, the five of cups, and temperance, Sagittarius energy. We also have four of cups in reverse. And you're releasing people who are rejecting you. So people, situations, any kind of energy that is saying no to you, well, you're just saying no back. You're not trying hard anymore to pursue anyone. You're not chasing anything. You're not doing any kind of extra. The extra is not worth your time anymore. I am also hearing you guys could just stay supernatural and your natural looks are actually attracting a lot more people who are in line with who you are, who you want to be, the type of beauty you are inside and outside. So the Seven of Cups, we have the Five of Cups and the Temperance. I am hearing you guys, there is at some point in your life where you tried really hard to glow up, to change something about your lifestyle. You pushed hard. You pushed really hard, maybe working out, maybe food, maybe in terms of even your energy level. You tried manifesting something new and it never actually worked out. It felt like you were always bugged down by something from the past. Something in the past was holding you back somehow. You felt that that energy was confusing you you would get ideas like okay this is what you need to do to eat this is what you need to do to feel better this is all that stuff you would get that kind of um let's say confirmation you would hear that stuff but you would get confused as to what is it specifically for you for you <laughs> what is it specifically for you in order to heal and bring temperance to yourself you get confused or you will get just way too many ideas and you get overwhelmed and too much information is almost like no information at all because what's the point if it's too general right all right pile one what other things you need to know we have two of wands in reverse oh the devil energy i told you there was something here and that's being healed oh my god and you have people rushing in you guys someone here is choosing you and is feeling super obsessed towards you but they're afraid that you would reject them this is someone who had to take a step back because they understood okay you know what you're in a zone you want to take care of yourself you want to do your own thing okay you know what let's leave pile one alone give them some time off but they're rushing in they're going to be rushing in back they're afraid that you reject them but deep down they just can't help it there's a lot of obsession here there's just a strong attraction towards you this person is very addicted to you for some of you it could also be two people here with the eight of wands there's a lot of passion and you're going to feel that the attraction level of this person even increased so you guys glow up this person can see it somewhere i don't know where you guys are posting pictures or you guys are uh, i'm hearing you just your energy is shifting so they can feel it right away you don't even have to post anything page of wands expect a communication from this person with the lovers and the hermits you can also expect that um this person is coming in almost with uh, uh, an attitude that is very shifting as well for them so this person has a lot more confidence but they're coming in in a way that they feel more wise more comfortable in their own skin themselves so they're coming in to uh, reach out to you and wanting to get with you with the queen of cups in reverse they're afraid that you have this intuition that you would think that you're not into them anymore they're afraid of that they're afraid that you're not into them 
at all. And you guys are really deciding. I feel you guys are going to be asking your angels, please listen to your intuition when it comes to this person. Yes, please make sure that you keep working on your healing. Four of Source, do not give it up. Do not walk away from this. You can still decide if this person is for you or you can manifest a new person. Let me know, pile ones. So let's get started with your reading. What is your glow up this Taurus season? What is your glow up? I just saw the Two of Cups. My God, you also have the Queen of Pentacles, you guys. Same as the pie number one. It was the first card. We have the star. We have the tower. Oh my God. We have five of wands. Okay. You know what, you guys? Pile two, you, well, page of pentacles. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Scorpio and we have Scorpio energy. You guys, your next glow up, pile two. You are going to see almost like a youthful energy coming back to you. Your face is going to look so different. Something about what you did, maybe you didn't do much, but something about your energy shifted and your looks, your face specifically, I'm seeing your face glowing to the point that it's almost like you're going back many years ago. And I don't mean that in a way like, okay, you used to look bad and now you're looking bad just as much. No, like there is a youthful energy about you. You're just glowing back in the way that maybe you used to when you were like 15 or 18 or I don't know, you're in your 20s if you're older, especially with this Queen of Pentacles. And I see you guys. It's something you've done towards a healing of a pattern here with the star. A pattern that you struggled to heal for a long time. But you know what? Here with the tower, this is coming as a surprise. It's coming unexpectedly. So some of you are finding some kind of treatment. Some of you are finding the right, let's say, trainer, personal trainer. Some of you are finding exactly the right type of food that is helping you heal and glow. Some of you are, are finding um, are finding ways to heal with uh, sound frequencies, with energy healing, with Reiki. You're incorporating, some of you incorporating multiple ways of healing. But in any case, this is coming as a big shock because some of you are actually, yes, with the Wheel of Fortune, you're going to feel really comfortable within your own skin. And you're going to feel that you got so lucky. Why you? Like you tried so many things and you know other people are not surviving. They're not making it through. But you're glowing up. You have a lot of luck here with the death card, Scorpio energy. You know that this transition is not an easy one. Deep down, you know you put the hard work. But because it's coming unexpectedly as a surprise, you're going to have people asking you, questioning you, what have you done? So some of you might actually guide others, counsel others through your glow up, help them out. Yes, Tempest, you're going to be a healer of some kind, you guys. You guys could be getting interested in energy healing, getting interested in lifestyle coaching, things like that. We have the Queen of Cups, the Magician, Virgo Energy, and we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, I also see you guys um, getting involved in some kind of um, endeavor that is really interesting to you, only to you, I'm hearing. And this is actually opening up your heart, your solar plexus, and your... Um, your heart, your solar plexus, and your sacral chakra energy. You are aligning these three parts of yours, and this is actually helping you. I am seeing a lot of, with the Leo energy here, it's not Leo, but I'm seeing a lot of yellow. It reminds me of Leo. A lot of creativity, a lot of confidence, but within your heart chakra, you're confident in terms of how you feel about things, how you are um, emotionally involved in something. You know that this is right for you. You know how to manifest it. And you know what? Because you're getting involved in that new new thing, here, you're also meeting new people, people who are just as glowing as you. With the Three of Cups, you might even have people from your entourage or even old people coming up, reaching out to you, asking you out, or even, you know, sending you flirty messages. You might get that. I'm getting Virgo here and uh, Capricorn. We also have the lovers. So yes, you do have lovers coming towards you. Knights of Pentacles, Strong, Capricorn, and Gemini. So you have people with the justice. You have people reaching out to you, asking you what you've done. But you also have someone here specifically who has been trying to... Um, reach out to you multiple times but you it's almost like you denied the energy or you're not interested this is something you might actually start thinking about yes exactly look at this confirmation you rejected this person in the past yes for whatever reason this person is hurt but they're coming back knight of wands expect them to come back rushing in and they will be interested to pursue you this time very aggressively so you'll be you'll know if it's right for you let me know you guys i love you bye